Vampire movies. You love them. You hate them. Or if you're like me, you're kind of somewhere in the middle. Blue Underground's got a pretty cool vampire movie, a little different, that recently came out. 4K, three-disc edition of Daughters of Darkness. We're checking it out right now. <laughs> Howdy, folks. It's the Creepy Kentucky in here with you for yet another movie review. This time, checking out 1971 Daughters of Darkness, released from Blue Underground. This is one of the staples of the, I don't know if it's right to call it lesbian vampire or, or what. There's not a whole lot of that in this. But I think a lot of movies were influenced by this. This one, Harry Kumail was the director on this. And I was kind of confused when I initially got this to review from Blue Underground. You can check it out right now. Uh, blueunderground.com. Check out all the releases. They do a great job. But I was confused because Blue Underground also came out with a film called Vampires, Daughters of Darkness which is nowhere near as good as this one. This movie right here is kind of a slow build, early 70s gothic, some really good looking ladies in this. Danielle Aubert is in this, and she is, her and her newlywed husband, John Carlin, uh, who a lot of people may remember the Dark Shadows TV show, they're recently married. They're really hanging and banging, literally. And um, they decide to, after they elope, they stay in this fancy hotel in the country. And a few, few days later, after they're hanging and banging for a while, and they're kind of hanging out, after they get done banging it out, if you will, a lot of that in this. And you see all these women, aside from, I don't think she is, she was a little older in this, Daphne Seerig, who plays Countess Bathory, Elizabeth Bathory. Um, so her and her, I guess, slave or companion, whatever, um, which was played by Andrea Real, I cannot pronounce any of these names. I'm from Eastern Kentucky. So they stumble across them at the hotel there. And um, of course, there's some vampirism going on. And, you know, as the movie goes along, the, what's her name is Valerie in the movie? Valerie and Stefan. John Carlin and Danielle Womet. Um, the uh, Valerie character comes kind of infatuated with Elizabeth Bathory in the in the movie, so kind of has control over her. All that it's it's a long, slow building film, and there's a real like kind of. Uh, fiery, bombastic ending. And it's an enjoyable movie. I, I was, to be honest, I really wasn't looking forward to this because I was thinking that it was the the daughter, the vampire's daughter of Darkness, which is, that is not my thing. There is some hints at, at some lesbianism in this. Lesbian vampirism. But, you know, it's it, it, to me, it's more like almost like a gothic horror movie, like a hammer movie kind of or something like that. Um, but it's beautifully shot. This 4K transfer from Blue Underground is awesome. For a movie that was, I'm guessing, was a low-budget film back in 1971, it really, really pops in HD. And these, well, in 4K HD... These three disc editions from Blue Underground are just fantastic. You can see the lenticular cover on there. 
it's real hot. And then you open that up and then, you know, you got the regular artwork. It's got the soundtrack, the Blu-ray, and it's got a little booklet in here that I think Michael Gingold wrote the forward on. So these are really cool uh, additions. Blue Underground's working on more of this stuff. I think Vigilante was the next one that uh, they're coming out with. It may already be out. I am not really sure on that. Um, but yeah, I mean, these are really good additions. Um, they're around 30 bucks, 35 bucks, something like that. So they, they've also done some awesome 4k editions on house by the cemetery, zombie, um, New York Ripper, maniac, all that. So this is kind of the most interesting one that is kind of out of left field a little bit that they did the transfer on. They did a great job on it. Interesting movie. It's something different to watch. Believe it or not, my wife actually halfway enjoyed this, which was kind of bizarre. Did not expect that. And you have some beautiful women in 4K. You see them in all of their natural glory, if you will. The Andrea Real, who right there, the brunette. Mm. Thanks for watching the review, guys. Daughters of Darkness is out now from Blue Underground. Check them out. Check us out over at deadpit.com. A special thank you goes out to our supporters on Patreon. The Patreon website has a complete archive of the Dead Pit Radio shows starting way back in 2005. In addition to all of the midweek shows archived, commentaries, all that good stuff. If you're interested and we appreciate all the support, go to www.patreon.com backslash into the dead pit. Tiers start as low as $1 per month.